गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ऑफ द एक्सरसाइजेज सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम गिवेन एन एग्जाम्पल नंबर वन वी विल कम बैक टू दिस क्वेश्चन आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग द रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चन ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर टेकिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इज फाइंड टू नंबर हुज सम इज ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड द प्रोडक्ट इज वन एटी टू सो यू कुड स्टार्ट बाय taking two variables or you could start by just assuming one variable but remember the quadratic equation that you need to form is it should be in one variable so i have been given sum of the numbers as 27 product equals to 182 from here i'm going to let the numbers let one number equals to x therefore the other number will be equal to 27 minus x there are two numbers whose sum is 27 you could have also thought of this like x plus y is 27 this is the first number i have taken it as x and this is the second number and their sum together is 27 so from here if i want to find out the value of second number this will be 27 minus x which i have used here because i did not want to use the second variable this can be done in the rough work and then you can write i have used this to assume the numbers i'm going to use this to make my equation according to question the product of the two numbers is 182 let's solve this 27x minus x square transposing 182 to left hand side so minus x square plus 27x minus 182 equals to 0 let's take negative common or you could transpose all terms to right hand side keeping zero here so this becomes x square minus 27x plus 182 now i'll be factorizing these and obtain the value of x so x square minus 27x plus 182 equals to 0 i want the product as 182 into 1 which is 182 and the sum as minus 27 think of the factors of 182 whose sum will be minus 27 so i am doing it directly you get minus 14x minus 13x after splitting your middle term pairing up so middle term split up now pairing taking common factors from each of the pairs from first pair x common from the second pair 13 common the binomial is same x minus 14 into x minus 13 is equal to 0 take each linear factor equal to 0 so x minus 14 equals to 0 x comes out to be 14 or from here x minus 13 equals to 0 x comes out to be 13 so there are two answers possible so if x is 13 so from here the answer is first number is 14 the second number second number is 27 minus x so this will be 13 or from here first number which is x is 13 second number it is 27 minus x 27 minus 13 equals to 14 so the two numbers are 13 and 14 next question question number 4th find two consecutive positive integers sum of whose squares is 365 in the last exercise we learned how to assume consecutive integers now let us write down let the consecutive integers 
be x and x plus 1 according to question the sum of their squares you have to write their square and add the squares so square of the first number square of the second number add it together so this is sum of squares this is given as 365 this is how you obtain your quadratic equation let's simplify x square a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab equals to 365 simplifying you get 2x square plus 2x plus 1 minus 365 equals to 0 2x square plus 2x minus 364 equals to 0 all the terms are even they have a common factor 2 so let's take 2 common 2 common x square plus x minus 182 equals to 0 so this 2 transposed to right hand side divided by in the denominator 0 by 2 will be 0 so this can be ignored this is what I am left with now it's time to split up my quadratic polynomial into linear factors again split the middle term x square plus 14x minus 13x minus 182 equals to 0 pairing up so I have split my middle term common factors from first pair from the second pair the binomial matches I have obtained linear factors now it's time to take the linear factors equal to 0 and find the value of x so x plus 14 is equal to 0 x comes out to be minus 14 or x minus 13 equals to 0 x comes out to be 13 now it is important which I told you in the previous exercise that the word positive integers will help you identify the correct answer I have obtained two values here one is minus 14 the other one is 13 but in the question I have been given that the integers are positive so this value will be rejected you can write down reason being integers are positive this is given to us so the answer is first integer is x which is 13 the next integer is x plus 1 13 plus 1 this will be 14 so this is the answer for question number fourth the next question that we have is question number five the altitude of a right triangle is seven centimeters less than its base hypotenuse is 13 find the other two sides so question number five is about a right angled triangle let's just draw a rough figure so this is a right angled triangle this being the base this is the hypotenuse and this is the perpendicular also called as the height so what I have been given here is that the altitude is 7 centimeters less than the base so if I take the base as x the height the perpendicular altitude is the perpendicular it is 7 centimeters less than the base so perpendicular will be x minus 7 the values are given in centimeters so this will be in centimeters and this will also be in centimeters the hypotenuse is given to be 13 centimeters using what's given to me I have assumed the values but to make the equation I have not been given anything but I know but I do know something about a right angled triangle a right angled triangle its sides always satisfy the Pythagoras theorem so even if it is not given I have a condition which applies to these sides 
and that is the condition I'm going to use to form my quadratic equation so first of all writing down let base be x centimeters therefore the altitude altitude is the perpendicular or the or the height this will be x minus 7 centimeters 7 less than base so 7 is to be subtracted from the base value base is x minus 7 this is given hypotenuse equals to 13 centimeters I am going to use Pythagoras theorem to form my quadratic equation so using Pythagoras theorem I will have h square equals to p square plus b square hypotenuse square equals to perpendicular square plus the base square so this is 13 squared perpendicular is x minus 7 whole square base is x now simplifying this is 169 apply the identity here a square plus b square minus 2 into a into b plus x square is x square simplifying further so this on simplification becomes 2x square minus 14x plus 49 taking this to right hand side equals to 0 0 on left hand side simplifying it further this comes out to be 2x square minus 14x minus 120 equals to 0 all the terms are even let's take two common so this two when transposed to right hand side will be 0 by 2 and this becomes 0 so x square minus 7x minus 60 equals to 0 now split the middle term factorize obtain linear factors from there find out x so I'm doing it quickly on factorization this is what I get pairing taking factors common from the first pair and from the second pair the binomial matches so x minus 12 in the brackets I'm left with x plus 5 equals to 0 taking each of these equal to 0 1 by 1 x minus 12 equals to 0 or x plus 5 equals to 0 so x equals to 12 and from here x comes out to be minus 5 now decide which of these is the correct value this is not possible because x represents length and the length cannot be negative so therefore this is the correct answer using this I can find out the value of the base and the perpendicular so therefore base which I assumed as x its length is 12 centimeters and the height or the altitude of the triangle was x minus 7 so this will be 12 minus 7 equals to 5 centimeters this is your answer